comes from a package or is handmade in front of you, there's no beating a steaming bowl of ramen. These bouncy, bright yellow Japanese egg noodles get their special slippery texture from the alkaline water that's used to make them, called kansui. This might sound fancy, but it's just water that's been mixed with baking soda. Have you ever made a pizza out of noodles? How about a muffin? Or a burger? Noodles are some of the most versatile foods on the planet. And today, we're taking you through the top nine most unique noodles around the world. Moving on to Mexico, we have fideos. Thinner than spaghetti and cut into very short pieces, these tiny noodles are most regularly included in comforting soups. They're fried in oil while still dry and then added to a broth of tomato and ancho chilies where they cook by absorbing all the flavorful liquid. On the other side of the globe, another favorite noodle dish is lo mein. A Chinese specialty of egg noodles stir-fried with vegetables and meat or seafood. It bears a lot of similarity to the popular chow mein, with the key difference being that chow mein noodles are fried until they're crispy, whereas the low variety stay nice and soft. Which one do you prefer? When you think of German food, you're probably more likely to imagine giant pretzels and schnitzel. But they also have their version of pasta called Spätzle. Made with only eggs, flour, and either milk or water, this doughy delight has a chewy texture almost like a dumpling. It's delicious, cooked with butter and herbs or peas and bacon for extra flavor. Greek food is some of the best in the world, and pastizio is no exception. This baked pasta dish combines long, slim, hollow bucatini noodles that are layered in a pan and topped with meat and tomato sauce. Finally, a creamy bechamel is added to really complete the deliciousness. Pasta is one of the most beloved noodle types in the world, but pad thai is not far behind. This internationally known dish was created in Thailand leading up to World War II as a way to unite and strengthen Thai culture and ward off the effects of colonialism. Pad Thai starts with a base of long rice noodles sautéed with chili, fried eggs, crushed peanuts, and tamarind. After that, you can add tofu, seafood, and chicken to take things up a notch. Okay, now how about a refreshing bowl of cold soba from Japan? This buckwheat noodle isn't always served cold, but there is one aspect that remains the same. They must be slurped, and the louder the better. Not only does slurping indicate maximum enjoyment, it also helps enhance the flavors as they hit your mouth. If you like soba and ramen, then you have to try udon. These thick, chewy wheat noodles are the perfect delivery system for any number of sauces and the best way to enhance your soup experience. A simple and delicious way to enjoy udon is in a broth made with soy sauce, mirin, and dashi, which can be found at any Japanese grocery store near you. So what are you waiting for? Now, if you're on the hunt for a much smaller but no less tasty noodle variety, why not head to Israel for patim? Sometimes referred to as Israeli couscous, patim is actually a type of pasta. Invented during a rice shortage in the 1950s, this delightful offering is made of durum wheat that has been turned into a dough and then lightly baked to achieve a slightly crunchy texture. It's the perfect comfort food and pairs well with just about any sauce. 